Yo, 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 what's up, Diamond family? It's your man, Vivi, and welcome back to the VVS Academy. As you guys know, I'm here every week dropping off gems, teaching you to record and mix your music better. So if that sounds good to you, stick around, man. Look, I got a crazy video for you guys today. Today, I'm gonna to be talking all about rap vocal effects, which effects you should use, when you should use them, everything you need to know to sound like a professional. All right, you trying to get that industry quality sound, let's get it right now. I'm not even gonna over talk it, but look, man, if you're still struggling to get your vocals to sit inside the beat, balance themselves out perfectly every single time, Check out my free course down below. It's gonna change the game for you. It's gonna teach you my simple technique for balancing out the vocals and the beat perfectly every single time. It takes about 15 minutes, it's completely free. So check it out down below. Uh, that's it, man. Let's jump into the track. I'll play it back and we'll dive into these effects. Believe this shit can happen, not a city on the map. Always knew this shit can happen. That's why I pray and do my best in God's time. Will be great. God thank the Lord, that's why you bless. All right, cool. So as you can hear, the song is already pretty much done. It sounds good. It's loud. In fact, let's pull up the, the loudness meter and see how loud. Yeah. So we're hitting negative nine loudness wise. We're not clipping. We're in a great place right now. This is really when I like to start messing with the effects. So the first thing I will say is before you start really tweaking your effects, make sure the song is already well balanced and already well controlled. So what does that mean? What is balance and control? Balance means you need to go take the balance course right now. So it can teach you how to balance out your vocals and beat but really balance means that everything in the track is at its proper level so it can be heard consistently and correctly that's a big struggle for why your songs don't sound professional they're just not balanced well so balance your songs first second you want to control them if you look at any of these vocals you can see there's louder parts and there's quieter parts so the point of controlling these vocals is to make sure that all of the parts are around the same volume so you don't get huge swings and volumes where you can hear two, some words too clearly and some words you can't hear at all we want it to sound more consistent so we want to make sure the song is balanced first and controlled then we'll dive into some effects all right so the other problem that you might be having is if you're applying effects directly to the channel that you're affecting directly to the channel that your vocal is on you should probably set it up as a bus and use a sin I've got videos about it so check that out but right now we're talking about the specific effects you should use so the number one effect you have to use on your vocal is reverb so Let's take off the effects and listen to this vocal dry with nothing on it and see what a difference the effects make. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Then believe this shit can happen out of city on the map. Right? I mean, it sounds fine, but it's just a little boring, right? Now when we bring the effects back. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Then believe this shit can happen out of city on the map. Always knew this shit. And really, that little bit of reverb and echo and space really just adds some dimension. It makes the song feel bigger and therefore more powerful. It, it makes it feel like a better song just because it feels bigger. So the way that we got there, let's start with the reverb. I'm going to bypass some of our other effects. We'll even bypass this one. And let's just go with just reverb. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Then believe this shit can happen out the city on the map. And I know that's kind of subtle. So let's go ahead and take the beat out and listen. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Then believe this shit can happen out of city on the map. All right, let's take it out. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Then believe this shit can happen out of city on the map. I mean, it just sounds a little flat, a little boring. So that subtle added addition of space in the reverb really helps. But there's something that you should do before your reverb. So once you've got your reverb set up on a bus, you should add some saturation before the reverb. And it just helps the reverb to stand out more, to be more audible, and to get a little bit more distance or a little bit more difference between the actual vocal and the reverb sound. You want there to be a little contrast, a little bit of difference between the two so you, your ear can accurately identify which is which. All right, so look at these effects that we have up here. We're just compressing the signal and we're adding some revival, which is basically a saturator. You can use any saturation box you like. I just like to use the VMR because it's all in one neat little package. Works out easily. So let's see what kind of gain reduction everything we're getting here. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Then believe this shit can happen out of city on the map and you can see we're getting very very little movement like the 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 saturator is barely doing anything and that's because we're sending to the signal to this channel we're not sending a lot of signal right so this is before the actual reverb plugin the reverb plugin we're using is the verb suite classic again you can use any reverb that you want i just want to talk about one particular knob within the reverb that you need to focus on and it's this one right here the pre-delay now pretty much any 
reverb you use is going to have a pre-delay attached to it. It's going to have give you the ability to adjust it. If you don't have a pre-delay um, knob on your reverb, I would just choose a different one. I'm going to show you what it does by exaggerating the uh, volume and the effect. So let's go all the way to zero with the pre-delay and listen. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Didn't believe this shit can happen. Not a city on the map. Now watch when we bring this pre-delay up to 80. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Didn't believe this shit can happen. Not a city on the map. Let's go back and forth. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Didn't believe this shit can happen. Not a city on the map. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Didn't believe this shit can happen. Not a city on the map. So what are we hearing? The first thing I notice is it's like we turned up the effect. It's like we got more reverb by adjusting the pre-delay. It also made the main vocal more clear. What the pre-delay actually did is is applied the reverb signal, but it waited to play that signal back a little bit. So it waited the amount of time that we told it, 75 milliseconds. So it waited 75 milliseconds after the initial lead vocal to play back the reverb. And what that does is give your vocal more space, more clarity, and it makes your effect just sound cleaner, cooler, bigger. So make sure that you're messing with the pre-delay on your reverbs. And the other thing that you want to maybe look at doing is EQing your reverbs. So right here I have it going flat, but a lot of times I'll add an EQ after the reverb to really shape the tone I want and take out any frequencies that we don't need. So let's try that right now. And I'm just going to grab the Infinity EQ, it's just easy, and we'll play back our track and see what's, what's there. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap, didn't believe this shit can happen, not a city on the map, always knew this shit can happen. And see, there's like a little build up there, so let's see if we can cut some of that back. We don't need to cut a whole lot back, because remember, the reverb isn't super duper loud anyway, so we're going to do this and maybe give it 3 or 4 dB. Let's go. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap, didn't believe this shit can happen, not a city on the map. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Didn't believe this shit can happen. Not a city on the map. And really cutting that low mid frequency like we did, it just allowed the reverb to float, the vocal really to float a little bit more, made it lighter, less heavy, and less weighed down. So I like using reverb a lot. The next thing I like to use is any kind of multi effects. So right now I'm using the CLA effects from Waves. You can also use the Storch filters from uh, Slate Digital. You can use the Murder Melodies from Slate Digital. Any one of these effects, you can use the, um, the, the there's a few of them, I can't even think of all of them, but there, any, any box that's gonna give you multiple effects in one box that you can kind of mess with and manipulate is what we wanna use. So I'm gonna show you exactly what we're doing with my preset on the uh, CLA effects. We're adding a little bit of drive. You can see it's barely doing anything. The Canyon is the secret, which is just the super duper long, big, lush reverb that kind of fills in the back of the song. We wanna make sure that we have that. We've got the eighth, which is just a really quick, um, a really quick echo so it's kind of slapping back not as fast as a slap but it's still pretty quick and then we've got the half going on um, this is also another echo but these are very subtle they're very like in the background spacey so you might hear it on a certain word maybe once in the track but it's always there um, and then Mr. Wide is just adding some width to everything that we're doing so I'm going to bypass my reverb and just play back the CLA effects this one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Didn't believe this shit can happen. Not a city on the map. Oh. And you can really hear one that drive in there. It's almost like we got the phone filter on it a little bit. Um, you can definitely hear that canyon as well, like that big, spacious reverb. And that's what we're getting a lot of. You hear some of the eighth. Um, the width is just going to be there. But really, it's the canyon and the drive that we're getting a lot of. And when we pair this with our reverb, it gives us a really cool sound. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Didn't believe this shit can happen. Not a city on the map. Right? So... Let's go ahead and bring back in our beat and let's hear this all together. This one for my fans who've been with me since the trap. Didn't believe this shit can happen. Not a city on the map. Always knew this shit can happen. That's why I pray and do my best. And God's time will be great. God thank the Lord. That's why you bless. And really, man, when you listen to it, two effects really completely change the way this track sounds. If we heard this again without the reverb, it's just kind of flat and dull and boring. But when we start to add the reverb, we start to add these, you know, 
big effects and these echoes and all these little extra things that fill out the back of the song would make the song into a masterpiece and that's what makes it sound professional so look man these are the tips i'm giving you guys week in and week out if you need a little bit more help drop me a line down below my name is vv and i'm here for you remember to stay humble and make diamonds only peace this one for my fans who've been with me since the trap Didn't believe this shit can happen Now the city on the map Always knew this shit can happen That's why I pray and do my best in God's time will be great I thank the Lord, that's why you bless